office stretches, right? We're on our chair, we're at our desk, and we're people, 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 and like, ah, my neck, my things, I'm tired, I'm slouching, right? Traditional thought process is, I need to stretch the things that are tight, but let's think about backwards, right? Stretching, you do a stretch, and like 14 seconds later, you're like, I still feel this way. Stretching is a negative to the system, saying, hey, something's tight, you stretch it, the brain goes, I don't know what's happening. Let's give the brain something positive so that it remembers and so that we can have a more long lasting feeling of feeling better and feeling open. So we're here, we're doing our things. We wanna become unhere, right? Anti-sitting positions. So let's talk about how we can give positives to the body to make us feel better, to kind of correct that sitting position. First things first, let's look at what we're doing with our head and our neck. We'll stop top down. So if I'm head over, I've got this big dome coming over my neck, let's get that thing in the opposite patterns, head nods. We're gonna do over the shoulder head nods. So I can take that shoulder and look at my back pockets. What's behind me, what's behind me, what's behind me. I'm gonna start going downstream from there. I can go up and down, up and down. Good positive movement. Think 30 seconds per one, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, don't get too dizzy and fall over. Now, next thing, let's get to those shoulder blades. I'm gonna take one hand across my body, lock that elbow in, and I'm gonna open and close that upper back, that T-spine, thoracic area that holds those shoulder blades. 30 seconds, cross and big. I can let the chin fall around with the hands, and I'm opening and closing, right? So now, Next thing I want to do is I want to get up out of that seated position, get those hips going. So getting into a nice standing position, finding a wall, I can continue that good open position and I'm going to get my hips against the wall my up and my head, everything against the wall and I can just take really big deep breaths, letting my belly button kind of move forward and back with my breath so that my hips open up. Next thing I can do, wall slides, I, Y's, and T's. So I have a T position, a Y position, V position, and a wall slide. Think of this as a snow angel, wall angel. And I'm just opening and closing that angel. But the entire time I'm pushing my hands into the wall, I'm giving positives. Giving positives to the muscles on the backside to my brain, it's okay. Then through some sort of magic and science, our chest opens up because you're giving it a positive stimulus. So we have T isometrics holding for 30 seconds, Y isometrics holding for 30 seconds, and then big slides opening for 30 seconds. If you wanna get a stretch, step into a door frame and give a little bit of love, a little bit of posture, and you can kind of breathe into that. That's good upper body things. That last thing you wanna do is to get those hips opened up, half kneeling position, just half kneeling position, and just open that hip up, and just kind of let that thing cycle back and forth and circles, hang out until the knee gets uncomfortable. If the knee's uncomfortable, grab a bag, grab a hoodie, grab your mouse pad, I'll click, boom, right there for that knee. Switch sides, 30 seconds. That's all you're gonna do, 30 seconds. Takes less than five minutes. You're gonna feel fantastic. The key to doing this is do this in high frequency. Think about doing this, that 9 a.m. lull, that 2 p.m. lull, right after lunch lull. Keep that up two or three times a day and you're gonna feel fantastic all day long.